see it? Yeah, singing. Just like any person will sing their favourite song, this is a penguin song. They're just calling out, thank oh. God we got home. We missed the shark, we didn't get eaten by a seal. And lots of fish, and now we're going to play around with the missus. Hey, is it only the red light that doesn't <laughs> damage your eyesight, is it? Well, red, yellow and orange. The red, um, yellow, orange doesn't yeah. affect. Oh, OK. And um, basically what they found is the white range actually it uh, upsets their metabolism and their heart rate races. Oh. It stresses them out a bit. Oh, for white. They okay. can't see red. Uh, that's oh. what we spend our research money on because we want to use torches. Without the torches, we, you wouldn't see them. Yeah, yeah. So you want to have some light there so people can get some <coughs> type of photo. Yeah. And basically you can see them really well. Mm. And it's just a nice red. You can actually yeah. Photoshop that later or you can go to your black and white oh. setting. So, there's no two nights are the same. Some penguins come in more, some, sometimes you're battling the fine one. January's the worst time here because they stay in the water. But this is, yeah, this, they, because they're just over the summer, they finish their babies and they're so hungry, so they go all go back in the water and just eat for about four weeks before they okay. come back in. That's what you have oh, to do. Oh, it's funny. Come on. Right? There you go. She's going to jump. Hey! Oh, yeah. You going to come down and say hello too? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Now, this one singing is a boy. This one on the top rock is a girl. That's a little girl up there. That's a little girl there. But you tend to see between the beaks, the boy has a thicker beak and the girl has a thinner beak. And the girl, the boy's quite bigger. And the girl's a little bit thinner. Now you see between oh. her legs, that's where she's got her little crutch, and that's where her eggs will come out of. So that's the only difference, really. They do mate for life, and if there's oh. no, no girls around, they'll just mate with each other. Yeah. They would have been out fishing from the start of the sun sunrise to sunset. They come home, they're probably having a nest around here somewhere. There you go, good boy. Okay, you, now, there we go. They're both singing for you. They're getting louder. Go and get louder than that. You can put that on your ringtone. There's a bit of poo for you. <laughs> Don't forget, you know, if, what fish does to you, you, you know, kind of like um, too much of anything and you just pull it out anyway. I didn't see the top bun, but like, you know, when you walk into the bushes, like a bed, like... These guys are quite healthy. The only thing we found that's kind of like not really good about it is that there's a little bit of mercury in their tummies. So, but otherwise they're actually quite healthy. They're quite fat and they're in good form. They will successfully breed this year. And hopefully we'll get a bit of rain for them. with a calling out down there that's just a sign they've got home they're really happy and they just want to get their mate and just have some fun now they've been swimming all day the reason why they spend so much time itching their fe feathers and their bottoms is they would have a bit of sea lice on them and that's what they're picking out. And they've just got to make sure their feathers are intact because they've got to be um, airtight and all okay. If they're not all okay, they can't go back in the water because they're not waterproof. So they'll spend half the night pruning themselves. Their feathers are quite oily. Um, at the base there, that's their little oil gland. Every now and again, he, he might pick at his bottom to actually release some oil.
This one looks like she's had a lot to eat and she's just stuffed. There's more in the water, I can hear some more. That quack is then swimming in, okay? <laughs> There we go. You can give this a boy's name, give that a girl's name. That's a girl, and that's a little girl up there. She looks like she's egg bound. See, between her legs, she's a bit full. She looks like she probably could lay some eggs tonight. Oh, yeah. Their main diet is the fish they can find in the bay, which probably consists of the garfish. <laughs> the boys like the anchovies, oh, like the uh, squid, and the girls like the um, anchovies. And the bay spawns a lot of the snapper, so there's plenty of snapper they can have.